All right, so we have the engine rebuilt for the Zircon and a bunch of performance parts put on it. So while we got it taken apart, we're gonna pull the front uh, wheels and tires off and hubs and install the Go Power Sports three-piece brake set. So a lot of 150s come with a three-piece brake set, but this one did not, but it has everything to install it. The only thing we're gonna have to do is make a mount for the master cylinder. So we're gonna pull the front hubs and everything off, install the brake disc, go ahead and check our wheel bearings and stuff, and we'll start fabbing up the bracket to mount that master cylinder, and then we can start making our new suspension set up for the back engine section, so let's get going. So these are the hubs that Go Power Sport sells. The bearings are actually in still in really good shape. We replaced these back in the day when we broke the whole front end off the go kart. Lonnie, when we was riding, uh, the whole hub just shattered off of it. So we're gonna be uh, installing the brake disc right there. All these hubs normally have the brake disc holes. So you're just gonna need some metric bolts. The size is on screen. We're gonna do some red Loctite and uh, put six bolts in these. Then we can slide them the new calipers onto the cart and start making the bracket. Converting this uh, brake set up, the old master cylinder just ran the back brake, so it was a pretty simple setup. We cut all that off. Now I got this quarter inch plate. You can see I've modified the little the little head that hooks onto the pedal and just put an Allen head bolt that'll you know hold this all together. So when you push the pedal, it'll push these two pins, and there's two reservoirs inside here, two master cylinders built into one that feed off the same reservoir. So this one's rear, I believe, and this one's front. You can adjust these because you don't want the front pushing the same as the back. You want like this one probably a quarter of an inch tightened up. So when you push the brakes, the front's going to grab first and then the back fades in. Uh, to keep from locking up the brakes, uh, rear brakes under heavy braking. So we're going to take this piece quarter inch. We're going to basically mark these holes on it. Take a hole saw bit and cut this. So it'll basically set on this and bolt to it and we can start trimming it to set over this piece of tube and weld to the floor. Bam. So so give me that square. Squirt. Alright, so this is what we got so far. <laughs> uh -huh. So now we got to do this. Do this. Do this. That's the notch for the tube. That's the notch for the tube. And beep, 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 beep. So we gotta notch this to fit over that. 
too. Now it'll set down and then we'll weld it around that and then we'll put some gussets on the floorboard, keep it from flexing back under hard braking. Then once we can set this down in there and tack it into place, you should be able to bolt our master cylinder in. Of course, this will be dropped down that much. Uh, so it'll be level. And then I'll have to do a little bit of adjusting to this because these rods, like the, if this one's the front one, this one needs threaded in like an eighth to a quarter of an inch to do the right mixture of breaking. So now I'll take a hole saw bit and we'll hole saw bit that up. Uh, these Milwaukee, I'm telling you, I'm in love with Milwaukee. These are the hole dozers, but this uh, attachment is super strong. And I tell you, I've never had a hole saw bit set up this strong and you slide it up and she locked in. It's nice, toolless, whoo doggy. Not but, sponsored. No, we wish they was. We That'd wish. be sick. I shouldn't have. Good gosh, man. Oh, we do got some cool weld table stuff coming up soon. I think you never uh, told me that part. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Rude. Um, it's bigger than we needed anyways. That's what she said. What was she talking about? <laughs> This heart ain't ready for the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> and I, <laughs> two completely different songs. My heart ain't ready for, uh, <laughs> what is it? Long neck, Bob. There's a dribble in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> there was no country singer, so I don't live in Nashville. Together and sell it to me. You know what I'm saying? They don't even line the market. Like, we know it's crap, but you can't afford the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We were saying, long neck, bottom. I go with my hand. And then he said, <laughs> my heart ain't ready <laughs> for the roll. <laughs> <laughs> but if a drunk guy was drunk, would he be ready for the Rolling Stones? No, never. Mm -mm. He wouldn't feel like a especially if his baby's home. Oh yeah, it's a double combo. It's a, the songs was made for each other, kind of like a, a Camaro in a trailer park. You yeah, can't separate them. <laughs> <laughs> Someone be like, "Hey Greg, I just got a Z28." Thank you. Yep, that's it, boys. So, and girls, and girls, the two Sexist girls that watch it, jerk. Oh my gosh. Um, what is that holding for? That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so when we get back from lunch break, and then we'll, well, we got grind first too. Yeah, you got grind the old paint off. So I have to get in there with the little. This is powder coated frame. So, sucks. Uh, yeah, it's really good. And I don't think the sandblaster, he can sandblast powder coat, but it takes extra long. So this thing, when we do get it over the winter time, it's not gonna be Can you not powder coat over powder coat? It has to be metal for it to adhere. Add Electronic. For it to adhere? Adhere, adhere. <laughs> like you hear an ad. Everybody's adhere. allowed to make jokes but me. <laughs> I always tell you though, yeah, but they're normally funny. Like your mom's dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we drive my truck or Becca's car? Uh, whichever you want. I don't care. Which one? Truck looks dope. Truck looks dope, but the other one will Becca's haul car. groceries like nobody's business. <laughs> or take kids. It looks we, sick too, though. If yeah, we drive you pull in your yard, and you're like, these people have made it. They made it. <laughs> <laughs> they got that refrigerator in the kitchen. They got these two cars. They made it. <laughs> Then the credit card debts come in. <laughs> <laughs> they have made it, I see it. <laughs> so, I weld that in. I'm back in out here so this wouldn't bug me about filming things. I'm gonna take these four hole gussets from Go Power Sports, your boy at GPS. 
and uh, weld those on just to brace it so it's super strong. <laughs> now on the other one, I want it held right level. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pinch my finger. Why not? All right, let off. I'm gonna let you get a better grab. Okay, I want it dead level, so the floor isn't super level. So I'd rather it be sank all the way against that, but like flush with this edge. Okay. Is that good? Fat Daddy Willie, let's show it first. Hey, focus, focus, focus. Hey, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my god. Bam. Pro. Lonnie's Weld Services. Okay. That's there. So there's our brake setup. And you can adjust these. You can see one's in more than the other one. This should, I'm almost positive, is the back brake setup. This is the front. Now when we go to bleed these, we don't have to bleed the front because we haven't broken any lines, but the back we will. So what your boy is gonna do is uh, we'll pull out this one and completely, so the reservoir is just getting pushed on this side and we can bleed it that way. Hammer down, baby daddy. Baby daddy. Probably put the ratchet on this side, idiot. Probably. Make sure it's not turning right way. We had to cut the headlight bracket off too that was right here. Um, so we only got one headlight. So what I'm thinking about doing is find some cool dope headlights put in here. But I want a light bar on top anyway. So yeah, Bob's your uncle. Oh, and we got a brake light. These have a brake light switch on them as well. So you use one of these three-piece brake calipers for your boys to go power forward. Uh, you can run tail lights off of them. Brake lights. So the caliper is going to come through here, bolt right somewhere here, and uh, it'll be golden. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we put bolt in. Is this how you want the brake line? Uh, yes, it's perfect. Okay. Okay, leave that in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna tape this up, Run it back to the caliper, install it, and then we'll have to bleed it because the caliper drained empty. We do have a bent brake rotor on this go kart, a back one. Uh, but I, and I think maybe uh, I do it this way. I think also we might have a bent axle possibly. So what we's going to do is uh, on eBay I can buy the axle for this cart for a hundred and thirty dollars. And when we do that, we'll go. We put new bearings on it a while back, but when we do that, we'll go ahead and put a new chain, new bearings, everything. But right now, it's going to be fine. But our brake rotor is. I think it hit the ground or something. I don't know. Probably. She really wants it. Okay, so the brakes are all installed. Uh, that's the really, on most 150 cars, that's all you're going to have to do is make a master cylinder mount and you're good to go. Uh, almost, I don't think I've ever seen a set of 150 hubs, this standard style hub that didn't have the bolt holes for the rotor. So. Uh, it should be just a bolt up thing and then however your go-kart's designed you're going to have to fab up just a mount for that master cylinder and then something for the pedal to push the master cylinder's uh, little dowels that's in there. So uh, let us know what you thought about today's video. Of course everything in today's video is linked in the description below. Uh, go Power Sport sells these brakes. We put them on other go-karts like the twin engine go-kart has this brake kit on it and they work great. Uh, if you're running a bigger, heavier buggy, you would want bigger rotors, and you could fab up. Uh, I actually got a guy that lasered me some bigger rotors, and I'll show them to you. So I'm using 150 hubs on my 670 supercharged buggy that we're building, and I had these rotors lasered out because the bigger the rotor, uh, the more stopping power you're going to have. And I know people might say that these are weak uh, hubs, but I'm running double bearings in them. So these hubs have enough room for an extra bearing on the front and back side. So we're running dual bearings in them, which should make it a whole lot stronger and uh, just withstand. And if we end up breaking stuff on the 670 buggy, uh, we'll find stronger hubs. But I think they're going to be strong enough uh, to jump and everything. It should be fine with those two 
bearings in it so make sure to check out the links the hubs the brakes everything is located in the links and they do help us out if you tell go power sports you found them uh, from our videos and also go power sports is doing a lot of giveaways now since they're not doing the discount codes anymore so make sure when you do your purchases to tell them where uh you came from like redbeard's garage and get entered to win some cool stuff uh yeah so let us know what you think on the next episode we should be giving it an oil change doing some other stuff uh and getting the the thing out in the trails and riding around a little bit and seeing how it performs i know we're going to have to adjust the mccuni some and uh, with the torque converter parts some people said that uh certain parts that we use aren't going to work as good as other parts we're just doing this as a baseline test we basically went with everything the internet says to do to it and uh, let's see if they're right or not and if not we can go back and adjust and put different weights in it uh do different springs and stuff like that we can do like a whole comparison video so stay tuned for that we love you guys thank you for watching and god bless